So today we'll be doing morning prayer once again from the Earth Gospel by Sam Hamilton Poor. Please consider getting yourself a copy of the book if you don't have one already. And uh, uh, after a moment of reflection, I'll begin with an opening from uh, Mark chapter 8. Jesus said, if any want to become my followers, let them deny themselves and take up their cross and follow me. survey the wondrous cross on which the prince of glory died my richest gain I count but loss and Poor content on all my pride. See from his head, his hands, his feet. So. The scripture reading is from Philippians 2, verses 5 to 11, inclusive. Let the same mind be in you that was in Christ Jesus, who, though he was in the form of God, did not regard equality with God as something to be exploited, but emptied himself, taking the form of a slave, being born in human likeness, and being found in human form, he humbled himself and became obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Therefore, God also highly exalted him and gave him the name that is above every name, so that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bend in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Another voice from contemporary theologian Sally McFaig. Christian discipleship for 21st century North American Christians means cruciform living, an alternative notion of the abundant life which will involve a philosophy of enoughness, limitations on energy use, and sacrifice for the sake of others. 
for us privileged Christians, a cross-shaped life will not be primarily what Christ does for us, but what we can do for others. We do not need so much to accept Christ's sacrifice for our sins as we need to repent of a major sin, our silent complicity in the impoverishment of others and the degradation of the planet. In Charles Birch's pithy statement, the rich must live more simply so that the poor may simply live. Take two minutes to reflect on these two really beautiful readings. Let's move into prayer. We pray for peace in Ukraine where that war has been going on for a month now. Pray for the people of Ukraine and the people of Russia. Pray for peace in all other places around the world that is fighting today. And pray for all those others who need our prayers. Go ahead, Cindy. When will I learn, O God, to see poverty as riches, to see humility as exaltation, to find plenty and emptiness and empty myself so that I may be filled with all of creation? Amen. Amen. And a blessing for today. May joy be yours this day as you lift and carry the cross, a cross that is your own, a cross freely chosen, a cross that brings you to life, even as it brings life to others and healing to creation. Amen.